Hi guys and welcome in this new video brought to you by LS Discounter. Today we are gonna present you the new Pharmax LS M10 Plus which will completely replace the old version uh, Pharmax M10. So we'll see in this video all the new specifications about it. So without further ado, let's just start with the technical data. We don't have any more the six liters power, but we have now 8.5 liters per minute as maximum. So this is quite important for this range of price and makes a good compromise between quality and price with this new pump. Then you will be able to go up to 240 bars pressure. Regarding the tip size, the maximum tip size, it's gonna remain the same like the old version. So it's gonna be 0.041 inches maximum, such as 541, 641 maximum, for example. And regarding the weight, you're gonna be happy to see that you're gonna have a slightly lighter machine with only around 53 kilograms against, it was approximately 60 kilograms before. So now let's move on to the different products you can spray with this machine. So regardless to the 8.5 liters per minute this pump has, you won't be able to spray plaster or bitume, for example, because it's an electric pump using a diaphragm system inside. And this type of system needs more power or more debit to be able to spray properly plaster or bitume, for example. So all these thick materials won't be working with this machine. But let's just get into the list of the ones you can use. So first of all, you can start, of course, with the thinnest ones. So the varnishes, lacquers, for example, with this machine, you will be able to spray up to the inside and outside dispersion paint for walls, ceilings. From there, you will have enough power to go outside onto, for example, the facade. So not only with the paint for facades, but also with some special coats that are usually a bit thicker you will be able to use that on these uh, surfaces. Then you will be able to spray as well paint and coats on rooftops. Also the products you need to use sometimes for the grounds, which are usually so a little bit more thicker again than uh, the normal inside dispersion paint. So all this type of products, which is quite a big range of products will be able to be sprayed with this machine without any issue. You will be able to use as well some silicate paint, for example, or some special type of glue you need to use for the walls inside, for example. So the range is quite big and you will be able to use this machine in lots of different situations on different surfaces. And it has enough power, of course, to go as well up, as I said, again, for the rooftops, for example. Now regarding the accessories you can use as well with this machine, so we'll go through the delivery after that, but first we're gonna go through what you can use as well with this machine. So if you need to spray small quantities and uh, spray again with uh, some thin materials, it is good sometimes to have a hopper as well to be able to use five liters or less with the paint and as well to be able to plug in a hose that will be eventually shorter than the usual 15 meters, which is given with it. So with this pump, you will be able to do that. You will find a six liters hopper that you can plug in on top instead of the suction hose and plug a shorter hose in there to spray with small quantities and thinner materials then. Regarding the hose, the 15 meters hose, which is already given with it, you have to know as well that the 8.5 allows you as well to use a longer cable so you can this time plug in 30 meters or 45 meters hose on this machine without any issue. So 45 meters will be more or less the maximum you can plug in with the device. But if you need to work, we think mostly on people working on roo rooftops, for example, that needs uh, the machine to be down there and the cable needs to go up and then sometimes very long on the rooftop, you will be able to work in, in this type of situations with this machine without any problem. So now let's uh, move on to the delivery that you're gonna get with this machine. So it's gonna actually pretty much be given to you exactly the way it is right now, displayed to you. So you will have coming out a manometer for the pressure. You will have then 15 meters LS hose, which is given with it. And this time with this M10 Plus, you won't have different guns. You will only have the Vector Pro from Wagner, which is a really good gun, given to you with this uh, tip holder and a first tip with a size 521. And finally, you will find as well, of course, the filters. So the one in the gun and the one for the suction hose down there. So which is actually also smaller than the old version. 
So now regarding the small new specifications you have really around the machine itself. So now you're going to have a box on the back which is a bit more like better fixed and a bit bigger. So for all the uh, filters, tips, uh, spare parts eventually you want to put inside. And regarding the structure as well that is sustaining the, the pump itself, it's going to be also a bit reinforced. It is reinforced. so. Uh, we are really happy that now the pump is getting in strength around the machine because it's still quite a heavy pump so it's nice to have now a really strong structure around it and finally we're also happy to have two for us big improvements regarding the inlet valve and the outlet valve because now they are stronger they let more fluid coming in coming out and you have also a button you can press on top of the inlet valve a little bit like some machines from Wagner also with diaphragm that are having already this feature that allows you when eventually, for example, the inlet valve inside gets stuck because of some dry paint or any other problem, then you can at first, instead of having to take everything out, then you can start just pressing three, four times and normally the pump should run again. And if it doesn't, of course, you have to remove and check yourself, but it's, it's a nice feature if you need to quickly have a quick check to be able to start again in, let's say, most of the cases. And finally, you will find as well the starter on the side button on off. You will find on the side here the outlet valve. Then you will have as well the pressure regulator on the side to be able so to manage how much pressure you need to use with your paint or with your product. And now let's just finish the video on a small demonstration with an uh, interior dispersion paint, just for you to have a look and uh, see you on the next one.